Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ronnie. Welcome back to another episode of the Mark 42 build series. And in this episode, we're going to do all the finishing work on the faceplate. So if you've seen the first episode in this series, you'll notice a couple of differences. The first one being I'm actually talking to the camera instead of using text overlays. But the second one is with the actual helmet. This is not the same helmet that I printed off in the first episode. That one was scaled too big for my head, so I sold that one and printed off a much smaller one that fit perfectly. But this was 10 months ago and my printer wasn't all that good back then. So if you look at the faceplate I printed off, there's some layer issues where it doesn't look as good as it should be. So if you saw the Saturday Projects video where I upgraded my Z bearings, you'll know that I printed off a new faceplate just recently, and that's the one I'm going to finish off today. Just like in the first episode in the series, the first step is filing down the remnants of the support material, and then after that is super gluing the pieces together. Once they are together securely, the next step is to cover them in a medium coat of filler primer. This helps fill in the gaps between the layers of the print. The layers are still visible after the first coat of filler primer is applied, however it is not as bad as the original 3D print that I showed you. Next step is more layers of filler primer. Three more to be exact. It's looking pretty good, so all that's left now is to go ahead and let it dry. Next thing is I'm filing down the very high spots left over from the print, and after that is sanding it with a 80 grit sponge. The reason I'm wet sanding this is because this primer tends to clump up a lot when you sand it and the water helps reduce the clumping by a whole lot. So this section, aside from the inside right here, is all completely smooth. Turned out really nice. I still have the side and the whole rest of the faceplate to do, but this is a really, really great start. Okay, so besides the uh, hard to reach places like the inside of the cheek and the inside of these uh, recessions, it's pretty freaking smooth. Now that it's sanded down completely with the sponge, the next thing to do is get some actual sandpaper and sand down the hard to reach spots that I couldn't get with a sponge. And then more filler primer. Aside from some small cracks, it's looking really awesome. The faceplate is drying right now. I have to wait four hours before I can do anything like sanding or apply spot putty. So in the meantime, I'm actually going to film an episode of my motorcycle series. Most of you guys are probably here because you're interested in Iron Man or 3D printing or cosplay. So if you like those things, that probably means you like cool things. And my motorcycle series is pretty cool. And it's also a thing. So I do encourage you to go check that out. And after that self-promotion, the next thing is to scuff up the surface of the newly primered piece with some 120 grit sanding sponge, and then I can apply the spot putty. You want to cover it over the whole faceplate. And I mean the whole faceplate. Once that dries completely, it is back to the sink for more wet sanding. And you can see that the majority of the spot putty is completely gone, but that is perfectly fine because all you wanted to do was fill the low spots. And another layer of filler primer goes on. And you can see the cheeks aren't as sharp of an edge as they should be, so I'm going to apply some Bondo plastic metal as a filler, and then after that I'm going to sand it back with some sandpaper on a block. The edges are sharp now, and you can see that I added the extra groove detail between the eyes. And that was done simply by using a file to add the recession in. One final coat of primer is added, and then after that we have a completed faceplate. It does need a final high grade sanding before I mold it, but until then, it's done. 
And here it is on the rest of the helmet so you get a better idea of what the finished thing is going to look like. And here's the finished back half that I made in the previous episode. And I would say at this point the helmet is about 50% done. I say 50% because although there is a lot of helmet left to do filling and sanding on, the only real detail pieces are in the cheek and the front of the jaw. So there isn't that much work to do. That's going to do it for this episode of the Mark 42 build series. So stay tuned next time for when I do work on the rest of the helmet. And if you haven't already seen the build series for my Batman helmet, this guy right here from Batman vs Superman. Not a good film, but cool helmet. I do have part one done of this build series, so you can watch that one. I'll link it at the very end. And hopefully I'll have part two coming soon. So like I said, do look forward for the video where I work on the rest of the Mark 42 helmet. And until next time, see you guys later.